it. This is it. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Goodness Egwomo and it is so lovely to have you here if it's the first time. Please do not make it your last by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. It has been a minute since I posted the makeup content. So I did want to come back with one of my new makeup looks that I have been enjoying. And this is my hot chocolate brown smoky eye makeup tutorial. And this look has been, has been breaking a lot of neck. I must confess because this is giving unapproachable. This is giving villain era. This is giving dark makeup all in one. And I like it because it's so clean and it's neat and it suits different occasions, different events. You can wait to school, you can wait to work, you can wait to an actual party, a lunch date, a Valentine. Yeah, me. <laughs> so this is the look that we're going to be working on in this video. So if you like more of these looks, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So let's go right to the video, guys. Okay, so starting off with my moisturizer, I'm making use of the simple hydrating light moisturizer. This moisturizer is kind to skin and applicable to all skin types. I got this last Christmas. This is a CMD Bang Grip Primer. This primer has been doing it for me, especially this period in Lagos, Nigeria, where the weather is a bit dry. That's a bit where the weather is a lot of dry, and it just helps to ensure that it gives a barrier between my skin and the makeup and helps my foundation to just lie easily on my skin. I make it with my fingers to apply my primer but I noticed that since I've been using this brush to apply my primer basically the my skincare product it helps to spread it out evenly and I mean you know sometimes your palm can absorb some things like that so using this brush just spreads everything out and it just feels good honestly so for this look I like to start in with my setting spray once I go in after my primer because this way really helps to just retain the moisture especially since when i started using this actual setting spray i'm about to show you it just does the magic it makes my look stay on longer and it keeps that brown vibrant look that i'm looking for my face doesn't end up too dewy or too matte and all of that so it just makes it perfect i do not know i came across this by mistake okay so i didn't know how it came about but since then anytime i want to rock this look I just go in with this style so let me know if you do it or you have any actual explanation behind this let me know so this is the setting spray I'm talking about this is the so pro food cosmetics hydra mist setting spray this is how it looks like yeah and I'm pretty sure you know the sister of this guy that's been causing a lot of chaos in the industry So this should take seconds to dry on your face but if it takes longer than that you can go in with your hand fan or your rechargeable hand fan but since we're in Hamatan dry season here in Lagos, Nigeria it just took seconds honestly because the weather is really dry y'all don't know what I'm talking about but the weather is really 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 dry and I like the fact that it's just giving me this glow without even doing anything it just looks like a natural internal glow on my face so right about that i'm going to go straight to my foundation so the foundation i'm going to be using today is the foundation i've using ever since and if you're an og you should know this foundation because this is the new one beauty in my skin foundation this foundation is what i'll use today i'll use tomorrow until i find something that is equally affordable i will still give me the same result like these guys give me and the shade i'm going to be using today is the f alakija l4 this is the perfect shade for my skin so if you're watching i am my skin complexion you should grab this guy honestly i'm not see i can put my name on this guy any day anytime i don't know if you're like me but i love to clean the top of my foundation whenever i'm done i don't know 
it just makes everything look pretty and less messy when i'm getting my makeup done the next time because i know the next time i'm gonna be in a hobby half the time so i mean it's just it looks prettier this way don't you think i'm going to go right ahead and use my foundation brush to just blend this entire thing out you don't want to have a certain look on your face and then it looks like you're putting on a mask and there's like an actual line of demarcation from your neck downwards so just take whatever you have left on your brush and just go down on it like this and if the foundation is your perfect shade you should look like skin okay next i'm going to make use of my concealer once again i'm making use of the nova beauty in my skin concealer yeah this is how it looks like it's so pretty and this is the shade 043 this is the shade i'm using this is the shade for my skin tone these days i've been loving to keep it simple and um, i know you're gonna see because my have full brows and all that yada 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 yes that's the actual reason why i like to keep it simple because if i go in any more dramatic than what i have here nah it's not it's not the brand that we like to give i like making use of the beauty by ad pencil i know it is faded but this is how it looks like so one part has this pulley here and the other part has the pencil so that is what i'm going to make use of for my brows today i like this brow pencil so much because it's it's the actual shade that i love to give me that natural look i like and it's not so intense and i can really control and work with it as to the other pencil that i've worked with i mean the second best would be the OG Navis pencil that we have everywhere in Lagos, Nigeria. So it's either I use this or I use this. I mean, if you find the right shade for this guy, no matter where you are in this Nigeria, you'll find this eye pencil. Yeah. So just get a perfect shade and it works for you. So if you cannot afford this one, this guy is your next best option. Okay. And I forgot to mention this earlier. My brother are not laminated. I already went in earlier to use my hair wax to just smoothen them down. So that's how I get my brows laid as slick like this. And you can try your brow gel of your choice. But my hair wax works for me, so why can't I save that money? As long as it does not leave that white cast on your brows afterwards, then you're fine. I like to do this after I apply my concealer because it gives my concealer time to really settle. And I like the, the highlights it gives me, yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for.
hydrating my brows i make use of the same concealer i made use for to conceal my face or my eyelids because that's because if you look closely my eyelids are darker than my actual face and they have a bit of not a bit they have a certain amount a very humongous amount of pigmentation on them and so i make use of my concealer to just brighten them up and it serves as a primer as well to retain the eyeshadow color that i will use and make it pop okay so yeah that's the point of using concealer if you have an eyeshadow primer then that works well for you but my lids don't get so greasy so this works just well for me of my urban decay brush this is the brush i used to blend my concealers so i just take out what i have on my eyelid and then spread it and use it as an attempt to clean underneath my brows if that makes sense setting powder to just set underneath my eye Jacqueline Hill palette combo and we can use of this root techniques brush over here yeah so this is the root techniques brush in the shade 300 <music> brown shade to just tap on my lid I don't want no hash lines found. Okay, so now that we are done with this part, I need to start getting it down. Okay, so now is the time for me to apply my contour. I'm taking my hands. Now is the time for me to apply the contour on my face. The contour I'm using today is the LA Girl Pro Concealer Contour. So honestly, the truth about this actual contour is that this actual brand, I feel like it slept on again in the side of the world because I feel like there's so much counterfeit product here. But if you find the original ones of this guy, trust me, you will know. You will know. You don't want to give anybody <laughs> so you see me looking here i'm trying to create content here for tiktok and instagram as well so the girls gotta do what she gotta do <laughs> why i'm 
I'm going to do with the contour is because I have a big forehead and I like to always conceal it basically so I don't like I don't like it overshadowing my sides. I was going to be going in with my real techniques brush that I used to blend my contour. This is the real techniques brush in the shade 200. I 
setting powder first. I didn't realize that I wasn't filming for a while, but the only thing that I have done so far is to apply my Benai Setting Powder. So I applied it under my eye, across my cheekbones, down my contour area. I applied it on my chin, above my lips, my T zone, and basically, where I applied it so that y'all have no idea how much my camera was messing up. And my audio was messing up, so just be on me for this video, okay? Thank you. Use this few techniques brush in four zero two to just dust off the powder that I have applied on my face. Okay, so I have put on my lashes off camera and honestly, we are not even done with the look and it is already eating. Like, I've never applied powder on my face and look at all this. Okay, so right now to apply face powder, but I'm making use of is the Nubon Beauty Mineral Finishing Powder. Honestly, Nubon Beauty, what are you guys waiting for? <laughs> so this is in the shade 04 Lagos. Yeah, it's somewhere here. The shade 04 Lagos and this is my actual, actual, <laughs> this is my secret to long lasting makeup because this guy seals everything in for me. Hydra Mist Setting Spray. I'm going to just use this guy to just spray all over my face to just seal in all of this. Okay, so while she dries, I'm going to start with my lips. I'm going to be using this Davis Eye Pencil here. This is from every local store we have in Nigeria. Honestly, there's no store in Nigeria that you have not seen this eye pencil. So different shades, different colors. I'm gonna just use this to apply my lips. Me 
Okay, guys, so this is the finished, finished, finished look. And you can just tell me this is not giving what it's meant to give. I mean, I mean, it's giving every kind of era, villain era, and approachable makeup, even Valentine, like I said. So, this look is just one of the looks that has been very easy. And I'm out the door. I don't need to do too much with the eye makeup, just one eyeshadow brush. And honestly, if you use one eyeshadow, you can make it work. And red one line. If you have that one eyeshadow that is just very, very dark, it will work perfectly well. And I love this lips because this lips is giving don't talk to me outside. <laughs> so I mean if this lip doesn't work for you, you can pair it with like a lip combo kind of thing. Just make it work for you. But honestly, this is how I love it. And oh my god, I went brown. Was an actual coincidence so this is just the look that i wanted to show you guys and let's get back onto our grind okay so thanks for watching if you love this video and you like more of this content do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button for more do share to your friends and families and your loved ones and your enemies at large and tell them to come support the girl as we create more makeup videos like this okay so it's the next video guys love you goodies